welcome to this video about fuzzy duplicates. This video is brought to you by Caseware Analytics. One of our goals at Caseware is to help our clients maximize the return on their investment in IDEA through continuing education. Fuzzy duplicate is a special kind of duplicate key detection which is used to identify similar records and character fields. The key word here is similar. There are already lots of tools for finding exact matches. Once records are identified as having similarities, they are gathered into groups, called fuzzy groups, and ranked according to their similarity degree. The more similar the data, the higher the similarity degree. An exact match, such as Chan and Chan, is considered to have a similarity degree of 1, while something like Schmidt and Schmidt has a similarity degree of about 0.85. A fuzzy group is made up of a core and the matches. The core is the record with the largest number of fuzzy matches. Fuzzy duplicate is good for comparing fields that contain single words, such as a stock market ID or foreign exchange codes, as well as character strings where the sequence is important, such as a phone number with national code and an area or regional code as well as the local number. It's also good for comparing phrases or short sentences where word order is important, such as a business name or an address. In practical terms, it means that this tool can help identify entries with slight differences such as a spelling error or variations introduced during data entry. An example of a data entry variation can be seen in the words road or street when used in an address. It's common to see both these words abbreviated, but period use is often inconsistent. So even though we recognize these entries as simply variations that represent the same entity, this kind of minor difference is enough for IDEA to consider this a unique key in a field. These kinds of duplicates are notoriously difficult to find, but the Fuzzy Duplicates tool makes finding them much easier. Now, let's see how this works in IDEA. In this example, I will use Fuzzy Duplicate to compare the addresses in a supplier's file with the addresses in an employee's file. This is a common test in fraud analysis, but as mentioned earlier, most of the existing tests only check for exact matches. I'll use the suppliers and employees databases from the samples project, which is installed with IDEA, and I'll start by appending a new field in each database that contains the actual name of the database. You'll see how I use this after the fuzzy task has run. To append the new fields, double-click anywhere in the data grid to bring up the field manipulation dialog box. Add a new virtual character field called table name with an appropriate length. I'll make mine 20 characters. And in the parameter field, write in the table name in quotation marks, in this case, employees. This will create a new field which simply contains the table name. Now I'll repeat this for the second database. I'm using the suppliers database, so I'll repeat the process, but enter suppliers in the parameter field. Now I'm going to do something a little different. Even though you can see that the databases have different fields and structures, I'm going to append them together into one database. The result of this append is that I'll have the employee's data at the top of the file and the supplier's information offset at the bottom. As you can see, there's no real overlap of data, so this isn't an append as you may be used to thinking of it, but it has put the two data sets together into one database without having to worry about file structure, data types, or finding a meaningful common key. Now I'll append another new field. This time, I'll add the address fields from the employees and suppliers. The plus sign here is a string concatenation symbol, and it's used to join two data elements together. So if there was a record in the database which had an entry in both the employee and supplier's address fields, the result would be to mash them together. Since these data elements never appear on the same row, meaning that I don't have a record which contains both an employee address and a supplier address, there isn't any real concatenation happening. What this operation does though, is it makes a new field which contains the address information from both tables together in one field. Now I can run fuzzy duplicate on this new concatenated address field to see if there is any duplication 
or any entries which are so similar that they require investigation. To run the fuzzy duplicate task, start by selecting the Analysis tab and then click Duplicate Key and select Fuzzy from the drop-down list. In the Fuzzy Duplicate dialog, the Output section allows for three different output options. Fuzzy Matches will extract any exact duplicates and similar records to a separate child database. Records without fuzzy matches will extract records with no similar entries to a separate child database, and All Records extracts all fuzzy groups and their records to a separate database. In the settings, you can opt to allow records to appear in multiple fuzzy groups, you can include exact duplicates, and you can match case as well. The similarity degree is set to 80% by default, but this can be adjusted to be anywhere between 60 and 99%. Select Key on the right-hand side to open a dialog to select which field will be tested for fuzzy matches. I'm selecting the concatenated address field I created earlier to try and find similar entries between my employees and suppliers tables. Finally, in the Output section, you have the option to apply a criteria to filter your output and a space to enter a unique file name. I'll call my new database Fuzzy Duplicate Addresses. Click OK to run the fuzzy duplicate task. In the output, there are three new columns added to the beginning of the database. Group ID and group name are referring to the fuzzy groups. Similarity degree shows how close the various entries in a group are to the core record. Next, I'm going to move the fields with the original table name up beside the group name so I can see which table the data came from. Now I can see my potential duplicate entries. Group ID 1 is for two entries at 1469 Huihai Zhonglu. Both records come from the employees table, and this isn't necessarily wrong or indicative of a problem. Two employees could very well have the same address. It's the same situation down to record 8. Records 9 and 10, though, are a different story. Here we do have a supplier and an employee with the same address, and this is absolutely something to follow up on. Records 13 and 14 reveal a potential duplicate entry in the supplier database. Records 15 and 16 again show an overlap between the suppliers and employees table. Note that this would not have been detected through duplicate key detection because of the difference in how road is entered. Records 19 and 20 are also flagged as a potential duplicate, but as these are addresses in different countries with a fairly common street name, they aren't likely to be true duplicates. We hope you found this video useful. If you require further information on using fuzzy duplicates, appending fields, appending databases, or any other idea features mentioned in this video, be sure to check the extensive resources on the Caseware Analytics Support Portal or contact our support team.